Welcome to Edupedia World. In this module, we will learn about degree of correlation. Degree of correlation. The degree of relationship between two variables refers to coefficient of correlation. In other words, coefficient of correlation measures the degree or intensity of correlation. The degrees of correlation can be studied in the following ways. First, perfect correlation. Second, absence of correlation. And third, limited degree of correlation. All these degree we will study in detail in the coming slides. Perfect correlation. If the relationship between two variables is such that, that the values of the two variables change, increase or decrease in the same proportion, correlation between them is said to be perfect. Or we can say that when two variables change, increase or decrease in the same proportion, it is called perfect correlation. Perfect correlation may be positive or negative. First, we will discuss perfect positive correlation. When proportional change in two variables is in the same direction, it is called perfect positive correlation. Coefficient of correlation in this case is positive 1 or plus 1. When data are plotted on a graph paper, all the points would lie on a straight line making a positive slope. That is positive relation between the variables. Let's take an example that x, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the value of y's are 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. You can see that the values are increasing in a positive manner. Next, we come to perfect negative correlation. When proportional change in two variables is in the opposite direction, it is called perfect negative correlation. Coefficient of correlation in this case is negative 1 or minus 1. When data are plotted on a graph paper, all the points would lie on a straight line making a negative slope negative relation between the variables. Let's take an example like values of x 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and value of y is 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2. As you can see that values are is decreasing on the y slope. So this is a perfect negative correlation. Next we come to absence of correlation. When there is no relation between the two variables or when change in one variable does not result in a corresponding change in the other variable. It is called absence of correlation or zero correlation. Coefficient of correlation in this case is zero. When data are plotted on a graph paper, there is no particular trend followed, which means two variables are uncorrelated. For example, values of x, 100, 8, 18, 2, 40, 200, 20, 300. And the values of y slope 12, 1, 90, 7, 3, 2, 50, 15, 2. As you can see that they are not related to each other. So there is an absence of correlation. Next we come to limited degree of correlation. It refers to a situation when a change in one variable needs not be exactly accompanied by corresponding change in the other variable. It is a situation between perfect correlation 1 and absence of correlation 0 that is between 0 and positive 1 or between 0 or negative 1. The degree of correlation between 0 and positive negative 1 is called limited correlation and may further be classified as first high degree of correlation. If coefficient of correlation lies between 0 0.75 and 1 it is a high degree of correlation. That is, it will be high degree of positive correlation if coefficient of correlation lies between positive 0.75 and plus 1. And it will be a high degree of negative correlation if coefficient of correlation lies between negative 0.75 and negative 1. Next, we come to moderate degree of correlation. If coefficient of correlation lies between 0.25 and 0 0.75 it is moderate degree of correlation it will be a moderate degree of positive correlation if coefficient of correlation lies between plus 0 0.25 and plus 0 0.75 and it will be moderate degree of negative correlation 
if coefficient of correlation lies between minus 0.25 and minus 0.75. Next, we come to low degree of correlation. If coefficient of correlation lies between 0 and 0 0.25, it is low degree of correlation. It will be a low degree of positive correlation if coefficient of correlation lies between 0 and plus 0 0.25. And it will be a low degree of negative correlation if coefficient of correlation lies between 0 and minus 0.25. Now we come to methods of estimating correlation. There are various methods for estimating correlation between two variables. The main methods used to measure the correlation are scattered diagram method, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation method, and Spearsman rank correlation coefficient method. These all methods we will discuss one by one in the coming slides. First we will discuss scatter diagram. Scatter diagram is a simple method of measuring correlation. It is a graphic presentation of relation between two variables. It offers direction and degree of change between two variables graphically. Scatter diagram is a simple interactive method of diagrammatic representation of a bivariate distribution to determine the nature of correlation between the variables. A scatter diagram gives a visual idea about the nature of association between the two variables. It is the simplest method of studying the relationship between two variables without calculating any numerical value. Now we come to estimation of correlation. The following steps are observed to prepare a scatter diagram. First, data presenting the given variables are plotted on a graph paper. Next, we take x variable on horizontal axis and y variable on vertical axis and plot a point for each set of x and y variables. Next, after plotting the entire data, we obtain a cluster of points on the graph paper. And last, we observe and study the trend of these plotted points and come to know about the direction and degree of the relationship between x and y variables. This is how we will estimate a correlation in scatter diagram. Now we come to interpreting of scatter diagram. By observing the pattern of dots, we can know the presence or absence of correlation and the type of correlation. Inspection of the scatter diagram gives an idea of the nature and intensity of the relationship. The scatter diagram can be interpreted in the following ways. First is perfect positive correlation. If all points of the scatter diagram falls on a straight line with positive slope, as you can see in the figure, then the correlation is said to be perfectly positive, that is R is equal to plus 1. Next way of interpreting the scatter diagram is perfect negative correlation. If all the points plotted on a graph paper fall on a straight line, which had a negative slope, that is sloping downwards from left to right, then the correlation between the variable is said to be perfect negative correlation. In this case, the coefficient of correlation is r is equal to minus 1. As you can see in the diagram that the slopes are facing downwards from left to right. So this is a perfect negative correlation. Next, we come to positive correlation. If coefficient of correlation is neither 0 nor exactly 1, it means it is between 0 and 1, it may be classified as positive correlation. If plotted points slope upwards from left to right, that is positive slope, and all the points cluster near about the regression line, straight line, it refers to high degree of positive correlation. As you can see in the figure of high degree of positive correlation, R is between 0 0.75 and plus 1. Next, we come to if plotted point slope upwards and are very much scattered around the regression line. It refers to low degree of positive correlation. As you can see in the figure of low degree of positive correlation, R is between 0 and plus 0.25. So, this is the difference between high degree of positive correlation and low degree of positive correlation. Now we come to negative correlation. 
If plotted points slope downward from left to right, negative slope, and all the points cluster near about the regression line, that is straight line, it refers to high degree of negative correlation. As you can see in the figure, high degree of negative correlation, R is equals to between minus 0.75 and minus 1. Next figure is about low degree of negative correlation. If these plotted points slope downwards and are very much scattered around the regression line, it refers to low degree of negative correlation. As you can see in the figure of low degree of negative correlation, R is equals to between 0 and minus 0 0.25. So these are cases of negative correlation. And last we come to absence of correlation or no correlation. If the plotted points on a graph paper show such a vast scattered of points that it is impossible to interpret any direction and degree from the diagram, it is called absence of correlation or no correlation. As you can see in the figure that R is equals to 0, that is there is no correlation between them. In this case, the coefficient of correlation is 0, that is R is equals to 0. These are certain cases of scattered diagram and how to interpret them. Now the question arises how to interpret a scattered diagram. We will consider the following points while interpreting a scattered diagram. First is dense or scattered points. If the points or dots are close to each other, a high degree of correlation may be expected between the two variables. However, if the points are widely scattered, a poor correlation may be expected between them. Next point, trend or no trend. If the points on a scatter diagram shows any trend, either upward or downward, then variables are said to be correlated and if no trend is revealed, the variables are uncorrelated. Next point, upward or downward trend. If there is an upward trend rising from the lower left hand corner, and going upward to the upper right hand corner, the correlation is positive. It means values of the two variables move in the same direction. On the other hand, if points depict a downward trend from the upper left hand corner to the lower right hand corner, the correlation is negative. It means values of the two variables move in the opposite directions. And the last point, perfect correlation. If the points on a scatter diagrams lie on a straight line with a positive slope, then correlation is perfect and positive. On the other hand, if all the points lie on a straight line with a negative slope, then there is perfect negative correlation. This is how we will interpret a scatter diagram. Now let us discuss some merits and demerits of scatter diagram. First, we will discuss merits of scatter diagram simplicity it is a simple and a non mathematical method of studying correlation between two variables second merit is easily understandable it can be easily understood and interpreted it enables us to know the presence or absence of correlation at a single glance of the diagram third merit is not affected by extreme items it is not influenced by the size of extreme values, whereas most of the mathematical methods lack this quality. And the last point is first step. It is a first step in investigating the relationship between two variables. These are some of the merits of scatter diagram. Now let us discuss demerits of scatter diagram. First point, non-mathematical method. This method does not indicate the exact numerical value of correlation which is possible by other mathematical methods of correlation. Second point, rough measure. It gives only a broad and rough idea of the degree and nature of correlation between two variables. Thus, it is only a qualitative expression rather than a quantitative expression. Third point, unsuitable for large observations. It is not possible to draw a scatter diagram on a graph paper in case of more than two variables. Scatter diagram method shows the existence and direction of correlation. However, it does not quantify the extent of correlation. That is, 
it does not indicate the exact numerical value of correlation. A mathematical method for measuring the correlation between two variables are suggested by the famous British statistician Carl Pearson known as Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation that we will discuss in our next module. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.